Hello my friends! I am very excited to share this tutorial with you on how to use Adobe Stock to make your own personalized menu. You can use this for weddings, birthdays, or you know, if you just want to get fancy at home with yourself. This is definitely a very basic level tutorial so anyone out there can do it. Trust me, if I can do it, you can do it, and mom, I know you're watching, even you can do it. Also warning, this video might make you very hungry. Let's get in there! So we're gonna start by going to stock.adobe.com and I'm just gonna put in wedding right now just so you can take a look at all of the options that are provided. I mean, really, you can make your invite, you can make your thank you cards, your RSVP cards. But for this purpose, I'm gonna go ahead and type in palm leaf border because I kind of have an idea of what I'm looking for. Um, and of course, Adobe comes through. There are so many options. So I'm gonna go over here to the filters and I know that I want a vertical orientation for this. So that helps kind of narrow it down. And again, so many beautiful options. I really could have gone with pretty much any of these, but Adobe seems to know what I want because I am going to choose this first image right here. And as soon as it opens, I do wanna double check that the dimensions are as I need and I wanted a JPEG file, so that's perfect. So then I'm gonna just click over here on license. And once I click that, it's going to start downloading. And once it is fully downloaded, it's gonna pop up on my computer. The image will see it. And what I like to do is rename it so I know exactly what it is and put it somewhere that's super accessible. So I always put it on my desktop because we're gonna be needing this right now. So it's now saved there. We're gonna open my Photoshop. I use Photoshop a lot. Um, and we're gonna do a custom four by nine. I had to look that up, but the uh, menu is a four by nine. That's the shape I wanted. So now we're gonna go back to the desktop where we just put our image. We're dragging it in. And as soon as it's here, we're gonna reshape it so that it fills this four by nine um, without compromising the image, which is great. And just by looking at this, I know I'm gonna wanna widen the image a little bit because Oh, our menu has a lot of long Hawaiian explanations, um, so definitely need a lot of space for that. And this is looking good. I like that Photoshop tells you when it's center. And now we're going to place that good, and we're going to head over here to the big T, and we're going to start putting in our text. I found this fun font that looks very Hawaiian, and again, Photoshop's going to help center this. And I won't bore you by putting uh, you through watching me type in all of the stuff on the menu, but just to take a look at how I'm doing this, um, I like, again, that Photoshop like kind of helps you center things and space things out nicely. And what I started doing was I would uh, copy over here on another document that I had written our menu options. So I'd copy the text and then I would paste it on top of this other one here so that it updated. And uh, that way we got the same size and the same font. Uh, and then at the end, spaced everything out. But now I wanted to add a little bit more pizzazz since I have access to this Adobe stock. So I'm gonna go over here. I know I wanted to look for a flower of Hawaiian descent and coming through again, Adobe, so many options, but I gotta find the perfect image that I am looking for. So that, there she is, that is perfect. And again, we're gonna make sure it's the right dimension and the right file type and license it. And we're doing the same thing as we were doing before, just to review. It's gonna pop up after it downloads completely. And how I like to do it is rename it and put it on my desktop for easy access so I know exactly where it is. So let's go ahead and do that. Good. All right, and then head back to the Photoshop. And just like before, we're gonna wiggle this over and then go ahead and pull in that flower to our beautiful menu. And then we're gonna resize it. Again, not compromising the actual image, which is why I love using Adobe Stock as opposed to something I just like, ripped from the internet <laughs> because the image is always not good. Um, this is the proper way to do it. And look at that, even when it's small, it's still gonna look perfectly crisp. And then like before with the text, I'm just gonna copy and paste it and then drag it on down and start playing around. The fun of this now is like, the meat and bones is here, so now it's just about kind of moving things around so it visually is pleasing. I realize that I would prefer these titles to be in the middle, and again, Photoshop helps you with spacing um, and really just getting it to uh, please your eye. Because after all, this is your wedding, darn it. 
Um, so there we go, it's looking good. Now we're gonna go ahead and export this. So how we're gonna do that is we're just gonna go up here and we're gonna export or quick export as JPEG. And just like before, we're gonna name it, put it on our desktop, and uh, it's ready to be printed. Voila! <laughs> and just like that, here we are. Um, it was so easy and I'm so excited. It's one thing I can check off my list that I don't have to worry about anymore. And I'm definitely gonna come back to Adobe Stock to continue to make all the signage for my wedding. I hope that this was helpful for you and that this inspired you to do some DIY of your own. Thanks Adobe Stock for making this so easy. Okay, on to the next project.